journey. But we also say that life is a dance. So why don't we just begin to dance now? Yeah, we can just be dancing, right? But what is really important is that we look at life and we look for perfection. But what I've come to realize is that really what it is is that we go through life and we deal with issues, many issues that we encounter in life. So life is not as perfect as we would like it, we would like it to be. Therefore, it's very important for us to know because what I've realized is that we see life through other people. We want the perfect husband. Hmm. We want the perfect house. We want the perfect job. We want the perfect marriage. But in reality, is there anything like perfect? Is there anything like perfect in life? Because I've really come to realize through studying successful business people, extraordinary people, that they have gone through imperfections and they have actually embraced it. As we can see, Bill Gates, a highly, one of the billionaires of the world, what we don't know is that he is a college dropout. The lady there, one of the, uh, she was, a leading cosmetic business leader, Mary Kay Ash. But what they went through is what we don't see. Mary Kay Ash actually was, was in, in a workplace where all the men, she actually would train people and these people would be promoted. And she got frustrated and it is out of that frustration that she started the business. And she didn't even end there. At the day that she was launching her products, her husband died of a heart attack, maybe from all the stress. Needless to say, they continue to build what they dream of through their imperfections. Now, Harold Bukovitz is a Namibian, was a Namibian business leader. Now, I want to tell a story about Harold Kovitz. A couple of years ago, I had an encounter with him. And what happened is that I went, it was in Vintuk, and I went to an event. The only seat left was next to him. Why? Right? And so, I was ushered to the seat, and I sat. And so, here I am thinking, my goodness, you got to say something. You cannot sit next to these men and not say anything. But I was so tongue-tied because I was still thinking to myself, don't just say anything. Don't say anything stupid. You can't sit next to him and say something stupid. And so I ended, ended up saying something like, how did you do it? And he said, he, it was very much in his late years and he was very frail. He said, do what? <laughs> I said, building a perfect business. He looked at me, nothing perfect. Wow. So here I was, talking from my own perspective, thinking that he has a perfect business, but he didn't see it as perfect. And so that told me that he must have gone through things that he didn't see as perfect, even though the world or Namibia perceived him as being perfect. And so, I started to learn and to understand that in life, we, we go through imperfections. You know, it's not always easy because we have to grow through these imperfections. Now, one of the most important things is that the Japanese, this is a Japanese port, and really, if you ask me to pronounce what they call it, I won't pronounce it, but there's a name for it. But what it is, is the Japanese people, they acridize broken pots with gold. This is because they have believed that when something is broken, anything that has suffered damage, 
it and has a history, it becomes more beautiful. And so that is why they do it. And they actually add value to a broken pot. My epiphany in life is basically that we need to embrace our imperfections. We need to realize and find out what is it that we are so scared. The whole world is in a maze and craze of perfection. We look to Halloween as the whole idea of perfection. But what is it that is within us? I came to realize that I am piece, a whole piece of broken pieces. I came to realize that I have to embrace myself with my brokenness. Whatever that comes from. I went through divorce and I had to pick myself up and put myself together. Well, oh, maybe the time that I failed grade eight and I didn't even thought at that point that I was going to make it to a master's level. Or maybe the time that I resigned from a big corporate position and started a business of myself and I'm in a perpetual type of experience of business failing. You see, because most of the time, what it is, is that we fear to fail. We fear to make mistakes. We fear to embrace our weaknesses. And we look at the world out there and see perfection. And most of the time, the world see perfection, but what is inside is broken. There's an imperfection equation that, I, that, that is really actually illustrating this. And it is that beauty equals mass of imperfection. Beauty equals mass of imperfection. And so then I begin to ask myself, so why is it that we just want to be beautiful without that what makes up to be beautiful? We need to embrace that that makes up for us to be beautiful. Chasing perfection, when we most of the time chase perfection, is that we make other people miserable. We make our children that we want to perform, to be perfect, and I'm not denoting excellence, right? We need to strive for excellence. But that obsessive behavior with perfection is what is really uh, mis what makes other people miserable. That is according to Alison Petito. And so, what is it in life that we need to do so that we know we go through life and embrace life with our imperfections? We need to build strange relationships. Many a times I have learned in business that I can't swim, but there are frogs out there that can swim. I will get on top of that frog and swim my way out. Right? That's what we must do. And we need to trust. Take that leap of faith. We need to trust the life that we live in. The hand of life is what is going to mold you. You cannot escape it. We cannot escape the challenges, the failures, the mistakes, everything that we go through in life. We cannot escape. But we need to trust and know that one day you will be on the other side. One day you will grab and be successful. We need to know that change is the only constant thing. We need to know just like I said, life is a dance. Music can change any time. Today you have a job, tomorrow you don't. Right? Today you have a husband, tomorrow you don't. Whether it's through divorce, through death, or anything. We need to know that change is the only constant thing. We need to allow ourselves to be mentored by our peers, by those who have gone ahead of us. We need to allow ourselves to be mentored in all spheres of our lives. Be it finance, be it spiritual, 
be it educational, whatever it is, we need to allow ourselves to open up and be mentored by those who have gone ahead of us. Most of all, we need to realize that even when we are broken pots, we can still carry beautiful flowers. We can still contain that beauty that is within us, that we can portray to the world out there. Because joy is from within. Happiness is affected by the external factors. And so you want to have that joy that is from within. Looking at diamonds, a diamond knows it's a diamond, whether cut or uncut. But when it's cut, it adds value. And so it is that pruning, that cutting process that is our imperfections in life that will make us to be a beautiful diamond, a precious jewel in the land of gems and in the land of life. So my request is, why don't we begin to dance to life and embrace our imperfections? I thank you.